Hi everybody. Today is a special video for me because of this box and I wanted to share the contents of it with you. says hi grandma and grandpa and inside of it are cute little shoes and my daughter and son-in-law gave these to us um, I don't know maybe four months ago and so we have a little 20 21 week old baby um, that my daughter is caring for in her tummy and I couldn't be more excited. I am so looking forward to being a grandma and all that that entails. So today I thought um, I would share some things with you that I have bought for my granddaughter. I call her my baby. Um, we know she's a girl but my daughter and her husband are not sharing the baby's name, although I think they know what it is. And so whenever I talk about her, I call her my baby. Um, but she is my granddaughter. And so I'm just really excited. I've thought much about what kind of grandma do I wanna be. And I wanna be like, my mom and my dad were. I want to be like my mamma was. Um, I want to be patient and kind and compassionate. I want to be giving unconditional love. Um, I want to be fun. I want to play a lot. I want to read books and build up a library. That's real important to me. I want to teach my grandchild about Jesus and make sure that they know how important they are to Jesus. And um, I just want to be there for them and for my daughter and for my son-in-law. And it's going to look different than I thought it would. Um, I live very far away from my kids, um, from my daughter and, and my son-in-law. and. So it's not like I always thought it would be. I'm gonna be a long distance grandma, at least for now, um, until God says that we can move closer. So, um, so I'm trying to figure out ways to still be involved, still make my face recognizable to my granddaughter. Um, so if you have any ideas about that and you are a long distance grandma or grandpa, um, feel free to share with me in the comments what you do to uh, get to know and be with your grandchild even from a long distance. So I'm gonna show you some things. So yesterday I went out and I thought I was just doing a couple errands um, but of course, I'm always hitting the thrift stores because of that book collection that I told you I want to start for my grandchild. So I'm always going to the Salvation Army and the local thrift store. We have about three of them that I hit and to get books. I've already given my daughter um, a handful of books that I have found, but here are some other ones. Um, that I wanted to show you guys that I think are really special. So this one, Pride and Prejudice for a little, a little one. It's a counting book, which I think is absolutely adorable, especially for a little girl. And my daughter loves literature, so when I showed her this Pride and Prejudice book, she said she had to have it, so I was so excited get that for her. Um, the next ones are 
these. Um, this one here is for um, an industrial revolution alphabet. Um, I am planning on having a very smart and intelligent granddaughter. And so when I saw these, I had to get them because they're so cute and my daughter loves them. And then this one is Alphabet for the Stone Age, <laughs> which I think is so cute. And it's got really awesome pictures. And so that will be fun to read um, to our baby. And this one says, Never Tickle a Tiger. And one of the reasons I got this one was, my son is um, Hispanic and my daughter is a pale skin redhead. And so when I saw this book, I thought, oh, I need to get this one because I have a feeling that my baby, my granddaughter will come out with dark skin and dark hair and she's gonna be absolutely beautiful. But when I saw this, of this dark skin, dark haired little girl and then this red headed mommy or teacher, I had to get it because it reminded me of my daughter and my future granddaughter. So I thought this one was really super cute. And then of course, somewhat of a Bible tale, Mrs. Noah's Vegetable Ark. And it talks all about how Mrs. Noah built a garden and uh, how the animals helped her bring all the plants onto the ark and stuff like that. So it is super, super cute. And then I found this one yesterday and I couldn't pass it up. Look at that. The donkey that no one could ride. It's not, not sweet. And it's an Easter, Good Friday type book. And it just has the most precious pictures in it. So sweet. I can't wait to read that to my granddaughter. So that's just some of the books um, that I've got when my kids were growing up. We had a nice library for them of books um, the whole time they were learning to read in an elementary school and then by the time they got to junior high and high school they um, you know, had their own books and their own ideas of what they like to read. Um, but reading to your child is so important in the womb and out of the womb and having them sit on your lap or on the couch and reading together is so important. And so that's what I do with my kids and that's what I would love for my grandchildren in the future. So that's my start starting collection. Um, clothes are a huge thing for me. Um, I love to buy my granddaughter clothes, but her mother is being very careful not to overbuy and not to overstock up, which I really admire. Um, and so she'll say, okay, we have enough of this size. Can we look more at these sizes? And so that's what I've been trying to do, but I'll show you some of the things I got because they're so cute. I found this little onesie. It's got hearts on it. Isn't it adorable? I just thought that was so adorable. And then this one is purple onesie and it has little cupcakes on it. And then my daughter loves sloths. And so I, I happened to find a onesie that is 24 months, but you know, she'll grow into it, um, but it is just the cutest. It has pink sloths on it, and I just love it. I can't wait to see her in that. Um, a few weeks ago, I found this darling dress that had the tags already on it, so no little girl got to wear it, and it's so adorable. It's got sparkly buttons, and it's just so cute. And I can't wait to see her in that with her. I'm assuming her dark hair and these pretty colors. And I loved when Leah wore overalls when she was a little girl. She was a tomboy somewhat, 
She loved, she wasn't afraid to get dirty and play hard, but she was all girl as well because she loved to wear dresses. But she liked to wear overalls too, and I was happy about that. So when I found these cute little pink overalls, aren't they adorable? They got little flowers on them. I bought these for my granddaughter. And these are a 12 month, so she'll get to wear these in the spring probably of next year, I'm thinking. So our granddaughter is um, gonna be born in June sometime, and I can't wait. With all of COVID going on though, I, I know there's going to be some regulations as far as going to the hospital and seeing the baby, I doubt that's gonna happen. Um, I'll really miss that part of her being pregnant. Um, but when the baby comes home, you know, we'll put on our mask and wash our hands and go hold her for the first time. And whenever I think about that, I get teary-eyed because I can't wait. Um, and I wish I lived by my daughter and my son-in-law so I could cook them meals and babysit and all the things that a grandma does. Um, but I know that's not possible and so I'll visit as often as I can and be a presence as much as I can. I remember when I was a little girl and this wasn't when I was a baby of course, but I lived right next door to my mamma and my papa and uh, every time I would go over they would be there and they would let me hang out with them or we would go pick blackberries. Um, we would sit in the lawn chairs under the shade tree or on the porch. Um, it was just really fun and secure feeling and I have such fond memories of my grandma's cooking and Papa writing poems about me and reading to me and I would watch TV with him. Um, some of our favorite lunches to eat was salami sandwiches with horseradish and bottles of Coke. Um, those are just really great memories for me. Um, and my parents were incredible parents to my, my kids. I have a son and a daughter and they were always there. We lived five minutes away the whole time they were growing up. And um, they would spend the night and we would go over for dinners and they would play games and play with them in the yard and chase them around and play ball. And it was just really nice. And I wanna be that way too when I can. So we'll see uh, what happens. So. I have one more thing that I've been debating about showing, um, and I think I want to. It'll be a surprise if my daughter and my son-in-law are watching this. It'll be a surprise to them, but um, our church had a silent auction to raise money for the Salvation Army, and I bid on one of the items that a precious man donated. He made something um, and donated it to our silent auction. and. Uh, when I saw it, I fell in love and I knew that my granddaughter had to have it. Um, so I was gonna show that to you guys. So let me get that ready. So this is for my granddaughter. This is a baby doll crib and it's all homemade. has a mattress and bumper pads and a quilt in there and it's made out of solid wood and it's just precious and what little girl wouldn't want to put their their baby doll in there to play with so Lee and Julio this is for our little granddaughter um, for her to play with when she gets old enough so I'm really excited about this I'm excited that it came from um, a man who was very caring and built it himself and um, and I'm thankful that everyone felt sorry for me and didn't bid on it because they knew how much I wanted it for my granddaughter so um, 
so I'm thankful. So that's all I have for today. I just wanted to share about my granddaughter, about what a great job my daughter and son-in-law are doing, caring for her while she's growing inside and um, they're starting to read her books and talk to her and my daughter is feeling some flutters and some kicks and that is just so exciting. So in the couple months ahead we're going to be planning a shower and um, I got to get those invitations out and I have friends here where I live that are helping me to make some things for the shower and my mother and I are going to bless Leah um, with the shower of her friends and our friends and hopefully she will be blessed beyond measure and um, it will be something wonderful for her family to remember. So I just wanted you all to know that I'm going to be a grandma and let me show this one more time because it's so special, but I'm going to be a grandma. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.